Hi friends, today I'm taking part in Heidi Sonbull's Friend Friday Hop and there are other talented girls joining in. At the end of my video, click the link in the description box to the next channel playing along. Each of us will be linking to the next channel in the hop and that will take you all the way around to see all of our projects. Thank you. Okay, hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here. And today I have a challenge to make something with the stash that I have at my house. Well, I have been sewing and making quilt blocks and doing um, what's called quilt as you go. So you make these blocks and then you put them together as you go with the batting inside of them and you, you quilt them as you go. And I have just been loving this. Well, a friend of mine had um, what I've normally used is one of these metal pen, uh, uh, magnet pen deals. Well, I keep getting stuck. See, they stick out like that and I keep sticking myself and hurting myself. Well, I saw a friend using what she called a pen cup. And so uh, you could go online and you can order them. There's a couple different places you could get them. They're like at least $16. And then you also, um, uh, then you have to pay shipping as well. And I uh, guess I'll just talk loud. I forgot to put my microphone on. So anyhow, on these, uh, I decided, I looked online and I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to pay. The shipping was almost as much as the pin cup. And so I thought, how did they do that? They put a little bit of uh, a little bit of a magnet inside of it, you know. And so I made this one out of the top of a mouthwash. This was a mouthwash lid. And there, it's so cute. I think it's so cute. And I just decorated it very shabby chic because that's what my whole uh, my whole craft room is shabby chic. And then I made this one out of a Keurig cup. You know, just the good old Keurig cups. If, if you do Keurig coffee, that's what I made that out of. And we have lots of those because we use it every day. And then this one I made out of the top of a um, whipped cream, whipped cream lid. <laughs> the kind that you spray. So I made this one out of a whipped cream lid. I thought, oh, how cute. I'll make one for my sister, too. So anyhow, I just decorated these. And so I thought I would just show you real quick how I made that. So I'll move my quilt block. Because, see, I, there are times I do use clips, uh, sewing clips a lot. But there are times when I need to use pins. And uh, I've been using them quite a bit on that. So, one of the things I've been using is just this. It's 110 cardstock. But you can use any cardstock because you can layer it. It doesn't matter. So, this is 110 pound white cardstock. I just had happened to have some of that on hand. And then what I ended up doing was... Um, I'm going to show you here on this Keurig cup because it's it goes down too far the pin would be way down in there and I want it to stick up like like this one or like this was the Keurig cup stick up really high so I can just stick my pins in there um, and I can um, whatever so what I wanted to do here is I tried to decide what magnets are they using so I have some of these little magnets like oops these they are really hard to work with when you're doing stuff like this I got some of these I was using them um, to close cards and to close envelopes and to make really cute little things in my craft room so I had some of these but man and they are strong but the problem is if you get anywhere even close to each other and you're trying to glue them they'll grab each other and whoa see they just flip around and do all kinds of stuff and then I had purchased some of this uh, I had some of this on hand because I was going to make a bulletin board for our office and put this along the bottom but honestly this is not that strong for for pins it is a little bit I guess Maybe not too bad. Then this one, I bought this. Oh, here, see all these are sticking to that. Let me put those there too. Uh, I bought this, and it's much thinner to use. I use this in my uh, to put all my dies for my for my little uh, Cricut. And so I I I put my dies together here. I'll show you. Like this die, I put the piece of um, magnet behind there. And then I put them in these closable lids so that they'll hang all together, all the different pieces. So that's what I'm doing with this. That's why I had this on hand. So I thought, well, what if I put this around the top 
you know, and glued it in there. And I think that would work good. But the problem is it's too tall. So what I did was I punched out. I have um, a punch that's one and a half inches. I mean, you can cut them out. You, do, you, can, you don't even have to use this if you don't want to. You can use whatever you want. But I punched a handful of these out, probably eight or nine or so. And then all I do is, see, I've already started gluing some of them together with hot glue. And then I just stick them on there. And just keep going like that. Doesn't take much. And um, I think I have eight or nine of these, like that. And I just stick these together, like that. And stick this one, oops. Of course I had to drop the last one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then when I stick it down in the bottom of the Keurig cup, uh, the pins are much, well not yet, but the pins are much nicer. They are not nearly so far down. So, and then what I decided to do, these are stuck in there so much, I don't think I even have to really do anything with that. Now this comes with this backing that you can take off and it's sticky, but I just don't trust it um, for, for this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue around there and I'm going to just start putting it in around the top. Oh, it actually kind of fits. It's harder when you're using a cone shape where it's smaller at the bottom and bigger at the top because everything has to be cut on a slant. But I think that might work. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think so. Then, when I was... Um, well, these do want to come out. So you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I don't think it actually touches the bottom. So I'm going to put it around the side a little bit and the bottom and stick it back in there. Get it to go... There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I just don't like the ugliness of this. And when I was uh, shopping at Christmas time, I got... They had these at the Dollar Tree. They were just rolls of thin uh, felt. And it was just so perfect, I was using it to wrap around some, you know, Christmas bulbs. And so anyhow, I thought what I would do is I just had been using pieces of it for this, that, or the other. So I thought I would just cut off a piece of it and um, see about putting that down. That's too, too tall. So this is about, I don't know, let's see how tall that is. That's about an inch and a half. So I thought, well, what if I glue that around there? Would the pins still stick through that thin stuff? Whoops. I don't have it against the metal. See, those magnets don't work as well. Now, these little dudes, let me tell you now, these things, they flat, your pins will stick to those. So, I may take these this time and put like three of them around and glue them right on this, um, right around this other magnet. I don't know what kind of magnets they end up using in, um, in those, met those other metal ones, but I'll tell you what, these magnets really stick. There we go. And then we'll put some hot glue here. And put this one there. See what I'm doing? And then this one that the pin is on. Stick a little wad of hot glue there. Any kind of magnet. You can take it off of some of your refrigerator things if you want. Anything like that. And then, I, like I said, I just don't like the way that looks. So I thought I would uh, hot glue a little piece around there. So let me see what I can do on that. Come on, get out of there, glue. Okay, here we go. A little bit of there, and I'll start there. And you can cut it off at the top. It doesn't matter. And then a little bit right there and there. Can you see? Yeah. Woo! Okay. See what I mean? Anybody can do this. And then... I used to, I had, I bought myself a beautiful new hot glue gun, and 
it barely has this little teeny tiny nozzle, which is perfect for little teeny tiny jobs. But let me tell you, the now would I cut it this way? Yeah, seems like I would. Um, seems like it. Um, no glue comes out of it hardly, so it's a pain to work with, honestly. Okay, so we do that, and we're just going to stick that off into the side. Now, what you can do, um, if you want to, is if you like the look and you want to just maybe grab yourself a little piece of this and just fold it like three times over or so, and uh, we can do that too. And then just cut the edges off, the, you know, the rounded, so you round it off a bit. And then you can glue those pieces together, which I think that's what I will do. So what I'm going to do is I want all these to stick together, so I'll put a little bit of glue there, and a little bit of glue there, and fold that one down, and a little bit of glue there, and fold that one down. Then, I think, I'm going to put glue on the bottom, and I'm going to stick it down inside there, because then I think it just looks so nice. It looks really pretty. And these, we can just cut this off the top. It doesn't matter, because I'm going to decorate it. See, here's the one that was the Keurig cup before. And it's, oops, let me get it in the camera better. And I did put some, I just crammed some down in there. I don't even think I glued it. And I cut a bottom. Maybe I'm telling you what, I absolutely love these. They are working so good when I'm sewing my, my little quilt squares or anything. They're just adorable, too. Okay, so I got that stuck in there. Then... Since my craft room is pink, pink and teal, as you can see, pink, um, I thought, I just, this is just a piece of paper. It's, you know, it's a, it's a decorative paper. But as you can see, these are more cone shaped. So you almost have to do them like so, do them like a cone. Uh, let me make it a little more like a cone, like this. Put it down in there, and then you can cut it off. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. edge of it off. You can use fabric, which would probably be a little bit easier to deal with than paper, but this actually works pretty good. You'll see. Okay, so then we're let's just, uh, let's go ahead and cut the bottom off. We don't need it on there really, because we're going to glue this to the bottom. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, if, uh, and you can do this just singularly for the bottom, or you can glue about three of them together for strength. Why don't we glue three together since I have them already cut? One, two, three. Then when we get ready to do it, I'm going to use, like on these, I did them square, which I cut some squares to show you that as well. These uh, are the same same 110-pound uh, cardstock. It could be any cardstock, and then you can put it on there like that, which that's what these have, so that they don't fall over, and they're really super cute. This one, I had a little bitty doily that I, um, I had a little tiny package of doilies. I don't even know where I got them, and I thought, oh, how cute is that? So I cut the center of the doily out, and if I can find the other doily, I might do that for you as well. Okay, so then what I did here, I want to make sure this gets covered. And then I had some of this cotton lace. And um, I ended up cutting it and just gluing it so that you could just barely see the pink through it. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I cut it about, let's see, where did I cut it about right? Is that right? Let me look. And this does the same thing because it but it is a little more pliable than paper, of course. 
So we're going to just cut it along this line here. Um, I got this at Michael's, I think, um, or maybe Joanne's. And what I do is it's like $2.99. I don't even know how long I've had it. And then I use my 40% coupon to get that. And also, my husband is a veteran, so we get to use a veteran's discount. So that's pretty cool, too. So um, I can make this bottom more definite because I'm going to put stuff on the top and use the rough edge on the top. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay, we're going to start right here. And we're just going to hot glue. Hot glue this. And then we're going to come around and we're going to hot glue this. Hopefully I have... Uh, I have this cut back far enough. Maybe not. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, and then we'll come over here, put a little more hot glue. Got a hot glue stick stuck in there. Okay, so we'll pull that and see it's much more pliable than paper. <laughs> and then we'll come around to that edge. And come around like this. And just cover this. I got a little short on that. It's okay though, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to come make it just a little bit wider. And then we're going to hot glue that on there so it stays on really good. I've got this spatula that I got at uh, Walmart, and it's one of those that you can put on hot pans or anything, silicone. Okay. Okay, so there we have it that so far. See? So cute. And then what I have is uh, about we use this one. So we'll come along here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. So we're going to... And you can use any ribbon or anything you want. And I guess I should put it down there a little bit too. Now this is going to be hot. So, okay, we're going to put this on the top and have this go over the edge and that go over the edge. A little bit of glue. Yeah. And we're going to stick this here. And we're going to just do the same all the way around. Whoops. You can, you know, glue some of these down a little more if you want or not. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give this one a whirl, I think. We're going to see if I can do it. <laughs> All right. So I'm probably am going to have to snip it a bit here and there. So let me see. We'll snip it there and snip it there and snip it there and snip it there and snip it there. We're going to. Okay, there we go. See? I had to do my little snip. Maybe another little snip to make it go. Don't want to go through your little lace, but because it's got to make that curve, so you got to snip it. See, there's a snip right there. So we're going to go around here and do that. And get it on the end here. Yeah. We'll cut this one here. And I decided to go ahead and put another it's little layer take and hot this. glue the daylights really out of the bottom of this and stick it in the center. Now, 
I have these little, I have all kinds of little pearl strings from here and there and everywhere. Um, and these bigger ones, I think, would look cuter on the bottom, like that. So let's take and put some glue on the bottom and put some of these pearls down there. This is very shabby chic, of course, because that's what I love. And okay. Ooh, got plenty of glue there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> There we go. Okay. So then we'll snip. Uh, I think it has to be that one. There we go. I have several different bling things. I mean, I have lots of different stuff. But this is one of my very favorite things. It's called a, a Bloomin' We Are Bloomin' case or something. I'm Bloomin' something. And it looks like a... Let me make you come out. Okay. So, if you turn this, I have all my different fun blings in here. How fun is that? So, what I did... Um, on some of these, I use this little bright thing. Some of these I use pearls with little flowers and little teeny tiny, um, little teeny tiny pearls. But I think for this one, we'll go ahead and put one of the. Why don't we put a? Maybe we'll put a white one on this one instead of the pink. Okay, that's what we'll do. So, and then I also have a little container that has. It says small bows. This is my container that says, um, I don't know if you can see it, small bows. So I open it up inside and I have all kinds of different little things, but I have these packages of these little bows and I think they are just adorable. So all I do is I come over here and I want to decide what's the front of my little deal. And I think this uh, right here should be the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bow and I'm just going to I'm going to hot glue right there and I'm just going to stick the bow in there like that and then we'll take one of these little clear deals <laughs> okay there we go that's adorable okay all right so then there you have it. Now, is that just adorable? I just love that. It has just made me so happy. And I, I cut over here and I sew over there, so I keep one at each place. And I absolutely just love it. So, anyhow, I'm going to put the names of the other ladies that have joined in. And um, we're making our, our little uh, projects out of just what we had around the house. I didn't buy, didn't go out and buy a thing. I had everything here. You can use a button here. You can use um, jute here. You can use, if you have some um, burlap, uh, you can make it look much more rustic. You can make it any, <clears throat> any style that you like. If you want to have it look more modern, you can have it look more modern with whatever products you have. It doesn't really matter. You can wrap rope all the way around it if you'd like to. It's just so fun. Anyhow, I just love them. So anyhow, you can just use anything you have around the house. Mouthwash lid, uh, lid from the um, whipped cream. I should have just brought the whipped cream up here and sprayed it in my mouth for you. And then these two were from Keurig's. Just good old Keurig's little things after you pull it all out. It's so funny. It, has like, it even has a little filter in there. I didn't even realize all that. But you just clean it out and rinse it, and there you have it. You got, I mean, we have, well, I have two cups every day. My husband has two cups and my daughter. So we got five of them every day. I could make a bunch of these. So anyhow, we've just been throwing them in the trash. Okay, so there you have it. Anyhow, God bless you, and you stay safe. Have a good time, and... 
uh, I'll post the other ladies that are involved in this. Okay, thank you so much. And if you like my channel, you might subscribe. That would be great and make me happy. And also a thumbs up would be nice too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.